No more. crossbow is remarkable, Barak. I am surprised the dwarves have not made more of them. The woman who made Bianca would rather that not happen. Wars are bloody enough as it is. A crossbow that fires this far and this quickly, with so little training, every battle would be... Surprised, not disappointed.
So here we are, Elf. Cleaning up another human mess. What would the Inquisition do without our stabilizing influence, Master Tethras? I assume they just start burning things. That does sound like most humans I know. If you gentlemen are quite finished... Now, now, don't get touchy. We're just here to lend you simple humans our help. Before you cause everything to explode again. and the warden should be inside. Glad you made it. I just got here myself. My contact with the wardens should be at the back of the cave. It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. My name is Stroud, and I'm at your service, Inquisitor. I'll take all the help I can get. I know the Wardens have troubles of their own. I wonder, though, might those troubles have anything to do with Corypheus? Mm, I fear it is so. When my friend Hawk slew Corypheus, Weishaupt was happy to put the matter to rest. But an archdemon can survive wounds that seem fatal, and I feared Corypheus might possess the same power. My investigation uncovered clues, but no proof. Then, not long after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. Maker! Why didn't you tell me? It was a Grey Warden matter. I was bound by an oath of secrecy. I came here for information about Corypheus. The calling doesn't concern me. But it does, your worship. The calling warns the Grey Warden that his time in this world grows short. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Likely because of Corypheus. If the Wardens fall, who will stand against the next blight? Is our greatest fear. So Corypheus isn't controlling them. He's bluffing them with this calling. And they're falling for it. Is the calling they're hearing real, or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I know not. Even as a senior warden, I had heard only the vaguest whispers of Corypheus. The Wardens believe that this calling is real, and they will act accordingly. That is all we know for certain. How can Corypheus make all these Wardens hear the calling? I cannot say. We know little about him, save that he is dangerous. He is a Magister, as well as a Darkspawn, and speaks with the voice of the Blight. That lets him affect the minds of Wardens, since we are tied to the Blight ourselves. It must be how he created this false calling. You said all the Wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? Sadly, yes. It lurks like a wolf in the shadows around a campfire. 
The creature that makes this music has never known the love of the Maker, but at times, I almost understand it. We must uncover what Corypheus has done and end it. This cannot stand. We need the Warden's help. This is the worst possible time for such a lunacy. We are the only ones who can slay Archdemons. Without us, the next Blight will consume the world. Warden Commander Clarell spoke of a blood magic ritual to prevent future Blights before we all perished. When I protested the plan as madness, my own comrades turned on me. Grey Wardens are gathering here, in the Western Approach. It is an ancient Tevinter ritual tower. Meet me there, and we will find answers. I heard what he said. Hopefully we'll find some answers. Skyhold does seem more secure than Haven. Only if we have the numbers to defend it. A place like this serves no purpose without enough people to make the running worthwhile. <laughs> 